Hey there friends, it's Hilary of Creative Faith and today I have a special video that was requested by one of you guys. So if you ever want to see me teach a certain um, topic or technique or share how to use different um, art supplies, please leave a comment below. I love it when you guys request videos because it helps me know how I can serve you better. So today we're doing a requested video um, with my craft space tour and I'm excited to share this I um, live in a little apartment with my sister and so I don't have my own craft room um, so it's just a little corner of my bedroom but it is such a happy corner someday I would love to have my own craft room slash office to do all things creative faith um, but for now, that's just a little dream, and I am super happy with what the Lord has given me to use um, for my crafty space, and so I'm excited to kind of take you guys along and show you what I have and how I have things set up. I am constantly changing and reorganizing the setup I have right now. I just redid, and um, it is I have more storage space, which is really important, and I also want to preface this video by saying that this is like years of craft supplies or craft supplies from my mom, from my aunt, things that I've collected. I started making altered books when I was in middle school. So I have been collecting stamps and scrapbook paper and all sorts of art supplies for a really long time. So when you see like my setup and stuff, don't think, oh my gosh, like Hillary has so much stuff, which I do, but it's not like I just bought it all yesterday. <laughs> and I also teach workshops, and so I need a lot of stamp sets, and I need a lot of ink pads and things to bring to my workshops and share with awesome ladies that attend. So I just wanted to share that little bit before I flip the camera around and give you guys a tour. Uh, be sure to give this video an advanced thumbs up and subscribe to the Creative Faith YouTube channel for more crafty Bible journaling, bullet journaling, faith videos like this one. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so here is just kind of an overview of the corner, my crafty corner. And so that's kind of an overview of what I have. So I wanted to start, and um, here's my bed over here. <laughs> I wanted to start with my big white bookcase. It was really cool because when I moved out, um, was it in 2017 I moved out? I was living with my parents and my mom's friend, Mrs. Davis, so Mrs. Davis, if you're watching, hey, <laughs> she moved across the country and so a lot and she downsized and so this bookshelf and the two white stacks are from her um so it was really cool to see god provide in that way so what i have are on the bottom shelf of the book sh of the white bookshelf is creative faith stuff so i have my packaging materials my papers for printing devotion kits and creating traveler's notebooks and whatnot and then these baskets are a new thing that I got at the Target dollar spot. And so in this basket, I have all my punches and some Distress Oxide blending tools. And they're so awkward shaped that I love the basket for them. And then this is workout stuff. And then over here, I have um, some prayer retreat stuff that I wasn't sure where to put. And then my embossing and a hot glue gun. So that's in that basket. And then I have my Crayola Super Tip Markers and some tall white paint that won't fit in my paint container. And then this is like one of my areas where I have my books. Um, I also have a bookshelf in the other room that has more books, but these are all, these ones are books that I want to read. And then these are kind of like my currently reading and working in books and journals. Here's just a little pan up. Um, I made that picture frame and then that says, may your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears. It's from um, He Art or Heart by Cece. And I will link her 
shop below. I'm one of her brand reps or I, she sends me her products to use and so that was one of the things that came in it. And I have this little Choose Joy bowl that I made. And then this is from Brianna Showalter. And I'll link her Etsy shop below. But my friend Bonte gave it to me back in 2018. And then so this, is, this is more just decorations, not craft stuff. <laughs> my friend Minerva painted that of Juan and I. And I'll link her Instagram below so you guys can check her out. And then all my engagement cards hanging out up there. So then over here, this is a new addition to my craft space. So I used to have this like basket thing that was right here, but it only had four baskets and they were awkward shaped. And so we had this bookshelf that used to house our TV, but then my sister went and bought a giant TV that doesn't fit on it. <laughs> so it was just sitting empty in our hallway and so I drug it in my room and it fit perfectly right here. And I love this space. It houses so much more storage now. I love looking at it. It just fills me with joy. And so um, that is a really cool addition to my space. So I'll kind of start up and work my way down. So this is my prayer board. My friends made it for me for my birthday in, I think it was in college or might have been graduation. Um, and so I have I support a missionary couple. So their pictures up there, New Hope, which I'll link the New Hope website down below. Their safe house and workshop for girls. And then it is well with my soul. And I know that my redeemer lives. There's some happy mail from uh, my friend, and the trust in the Lord is also from some happy mail. And so it's just really fun just to surround myself with pretty things that inspire and encourage me. So then we have the top of the shelf. So over here I have these little drawers are from the Dollar Tree. And so the top one houses Maggie Holmes die cuts. The middle one houses stickers. So these are again the here by CC stickers that I just love. And so I have those in there. And then my friend Neely also makes stickers and I'll link her Instagram below and so I house all my pretty stickers right here so I can remember to use them <laughs> and then down below I have clips so um my friend Gail to my friends Gail and Lisa have a shop called that love spill over and I'll link their Instagram below and so I have a lot of their clips and then my friend Ashley also has an Etsy store I'm not sure if it's still open so if it is I'll link her and she has these little sparkly clips and then these are like the current projects I'm working on. So this is my Lent prayer devotion and I will link my blog post about that. And then this is Seasons of Prayer, which I will link um, those kits in my Etsy shop. And then this little thing I got at the Target dollar spot. And so I can house like pens and die cuts for projects. And this is another little thing from Happy Mail. And then I have like these are by the wall for God stickers and stamps that I reach for a lot. A little cactus. And then illustrated faith. And then back here I have more things that correlate with current projects I'm working on. So these are from Ally Scraps, and I'll link both of these prayer request card sets. And then over here, this is from an old I don't know what you would call it <laughs> something old that my mom had it used to sit upright and house my pens but I flipped it sideways and have all my distress oxides um, stacked here which I love I use them so much more now that I can actually see them they used to be in a drawer piled away and then you'll notice like I am all about recycling and reusing and so this, um, the pastor of the church, my boss, made that chocolate sauce and this was the jar from that when I finished the chocolate sauce. And I used these with the distress inks. And then this is a paper clip container that now houses miscellaneous things and this is a old popcorn container and it houses tabs and sticky notes. These are more alley, alley scrap sticky notes. So I'm all about recycling. And I love that this is like so easily accessible. And then this is my scale that I use for weighing all your Etsy orders. 
and before I had it tucked away in its box and it was such a pain to get out so now it's very easily accessible. Then around here I have my messy bible washi ring with my favorite Maggie Holmes washi tape and I'll link um, Tanya's shop below. So then the next row I have these are pens so these are um, scribbles that matter pens from Walmart. This has just miscellaneous pens and these are all my big brush markers and so they all sit right here. And then these are my stamps. I got these two tubs from the Dollar Tree and I love them. It's so much easier for me to see all my stamps now and I grouped them by company. So I have like Growing Meadows stamps here. I have Creative Retreat stamps here. Oh, and a lot of these stamps were gifted to me too. So don't think that I purchased all of them. <laughs> and then I have Illustrated Faith stamps back here. And then in this one, I have um, Michael's stamps, more Growing Meadows, Flora and Fauna, Bo Bunny. These are all gifts from a friend. I the Love for God, Creative Retreat, or Creative Worship from Sweet and Sassy Stamps. All my Sweet and Sassy Stamps are there. A lot of those. And then more miscellaneous stamps. So this makes it way easier for me to thumb through my stamps and pull them out and actually use them. And then this is my really dirty ink rag. <laughs> and I have a bunch of sticker books over here. Oh, and I'll link um, Growing Meadows, Sweet and Sassy, Creative Retreats. I'll link those Etsy shops below. And by the well for gods, you guys can check them out if you want to get some awesome stamps. Then I have my sticker books. And then down here, I kind of have um, current projects I'm working on. They're not like super easily or nicely stored, but this is a Valentine's Junk Journal I'm working on. This is from all the way in back in September. My sweet, I went to a Sweet and Sassy Stamps retreat, and I was trying to work on making a traveler's notebook about that. And then I love traveler's notebooks, you guys. I still need to take the tags off. Um, but so this houses all my blank traveler's notebooks, but I, I love notebooks and I use them. So, and they're pretty. <laughs> and then this has like current projects I'm working on. I store all my printables in these plastic page protectors and binders. And then I pull out the current ones I'm working on. So this is Seasons of Prayer. And then I was working on Monstrous Envy also recently. So then I can put these away when I'm not working on them. And then this is some happy mail that I got. And I store it in here so that I can always remember to pull out and use the pretty things that people send me. So then I over here have my embossing lamp. No, dryer. <laughs> And then over here, I have, I use these for pictures. So this was a piece of poster board from Hobby Lobby that I used to take pictures. And then nice white foam board. And then this is my old dirty foam, bo foam board <laughs> that I also use. And I have a little sloth hanging here. I do all my filming here. Um, this is where I have the best daylight. Obviously, you guys noticed I don't have any YouTube filming lights. So I can only film during certain times of the day when I'm home. And my mom got me this really nice mat from Ikea to protect my work surface. And it's not the foam board. So I love this mat. Over here I have these little drawers that house things I use a lot like glue. And this is my favorite planner glue pen which I will link below little scissors, my mini mister, water brush, and down below I have my favorite watercolors. So these are my dots and dust watercolors. I'll link Angeline's shop, my designs by Rachel Beth watercolors, and I'll link her shop, and then Illustrated Faith and Primo Marketing. I use a lot of watercolors, so those are right next to me all the time. <laughs> And then this is the bag. COH stands for the church I work for. 
and it has all my Tombow brush markers that I use for bullet journaling and then I always have my cup of water for watercolors so it always sits here and this is my tub of washi. My friend Dana gave this to me for my birthday. I love it. It holds all my washi with room to spare. And the boxes nestled together like this. They're all organized by color, so it helps me find things. I love washi tape. So then over here I have all my scrapbook papers. So these are stickers and like scrapbook paper sets from Michaels and I use these in Bible journaling a lot. I also include them in all my physical kits in my Etsy shop. And then up here I have like papers that I use to put in between pages as I work. And then this drawer houses all my sticky notes. So I love that. And what does this drawer have? Oh, this one has my little pads of paper. So my six by sixes or what's this size? Um, well, whatever size this is. That's slightly bigger. <laughs> six by eight, perhaps. So let's live in that drawer. Over here I have my paper cutter and some more miscellaneous papers. This is now my Bible journaling, I'll call it my junk drawer, but it, it's not junk, but just where I have miscellaneous things that I need to file and put away. Um, about those there. So that way I can keep my workspace cleaner and just put it all away there. And then this one, I have stickers, alphabet stickers, and then these are like miscellaneous papers. I really don't use these very much. They're from when I used to do a lot of altered books. I would save miscellaneous papers to use. So, lots of fun stickers in here, lots of fun alphabets. And then these two containers, this one houses all my wooden stamps. So this top one has alphabets. These are my favorite Amy Tangerine ones. I also have some different um, rollers. And then these stamps are kind of organized by size and type. So all of these ones have words on them. All of these ones are like bigger object stamps. All of these ones are tiny stamps. Here are my ink pads and clear acrylic blocks. And then this is kind of miscellaneous. I have gel pens, napkins, confetti, and glitter. Over here. Oh, I'm going to take that to the bank. That was from a, an Etsy order. <laughs> Stand up. And I have... Project Life, the bigger cards up here, and then this looks kind of like a mess. <laughs> but I have just kind of miscellaneous papers, note cards. These are more um, clips. I use a lot of clips and kind of old ephemera things, old tags, washi tape that won't fit in my container. Here I have more Project Life cards. So these are all the small Project Life cards. I don't do Project Life, but I love the cards for journaling. So um, this is another one of those Dollar Tree containers. And here I have some more tags and Heidi Swap Color Shine. And then this has kind of miscellaneous things in the back. I have some ribbons, some plastic sheets, drawer houses um, things I include in my Etsy orders for freebies for you guys as thank yous. This one has, I have extra glue pens, which I said are linked below, and papers and note cards. And then down here I have like different mediums. So I have watercolors, watercolor colored pencils, gelatos, brush markers, um, Neo color twos. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so this houses like all my different mediums. 
to then over here these are all the traveler's notebooks which might sound crazy that i'm currently working in <laughs> so i have my take root kit adventure weights um a lot of different kits from my etsy shop that i haven't finished and i have some different um traveler's notebooks that i use like covers while i'm traveling so i can put them in here and then these two have all my printables or three and then my hymnal and these are all my bibles so this is my very first journaling bible this is my spanish one this is my altered book this is my legacy of love creations oh it's about to fall bible and i'll link her shop below i have a coupon code so you spend over fifty dollars and use the code hillary10 you'll get a discount so i'm working in that one this one has only printables from my shop so it's like my creative faith bible a little bible my psalms bible and a single column leather bound journaling bible and then over there i just have some planners and my ipads and then up above i have my big interleaved bible and then these are all the traveler's notebooks that i finished which is so cool to see i love that and then my illustrating bible lives it's kind of messy but it lives over here on top of my printer wow that took a lot longer than i thought <laughs> But I hope you guys liked seeing a little bit of my crafty corner in my bedroom. And this is where I do all my praying and studying and creating. And I hope it gave you guys some ideas. Um, all the furniture I found or was given. And like you guys saw, I use a lot of things from the Dollar Tree to store my stuff or the Target Dollar Spot. Um, or things that were recycled like popcorn tubs and pencil containers and things like that. So I want to encourage you guys that you don't need to spend a lot of money to have a craft space that is um, that works well, that stores your stuff and where you can find it all, but also brings you joy. So um, thank you for watching. Leave any questions down below and I will answer them. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!